Welcome back to Next Gen Investing. It's time for a developing story with Renita Young, who's joining me here in studio today, who's the senior markets correspondent for the network. And we're talking DWAC, Digital World Acquisition Corp. Ben is excited about this one. Ben oh, is, yeah. He can't Fire wait to talk about this stock. You know why? Because <laughs> the SPACs are back. Remember how we heard a flood of SPACs creating mergers with different companies trying to bring them to market a few years ago during the pandemic? Well, this is a SPAC that has now combined with Donald Trump's social media company and together they will start to trade under the combined company under ticker DJT on Monday. The board actually approved the vote for the merger today and it could actually net Donald Trump around three billion dollars or more. We know he could use the money because of what's happening in New York right now. However, the initials, they might sound a little bit of a deja vu. Of course, those are Donald J. Trump's initials, but they're the same tickers that the same ticker that uh, Trump's defunct casino and hotel company traded under years ago. And he would be locked into the shares for at least six months, but the board could vote to allow him to sell shares earlier so that he could actually uh, bring in more cash that obviously he clearly needs right now, guys. Well, let's take a look at the chart here real mm -hmm. quick, because this is a stock that I haven't really uh, become too familiar with, to say the least. But uh, yeah. I like to look at price activity through the lens of auction market theories, concepts, ideas, principles, and that pretty much applies across all products, time frames, whether options, stocks, mm -hmm. bonds, ETFs. So taking a look here, you can see a bit of a chop. We just spiked up. This is this week's price activity off the lows from Tuesday, 32 up to 48. And you can see, look at this, we're hanging out right in the middle of this range. Mm -hmm. Limited in terms of real conviction here and uh, limited in terms of real follow through here. I want to show you what's going on as we take a step back. You can sure. see, look, I've, I've put a line in there near a couple of these lows that you should be watching. And that comes in right around that 30, 32, 34 area. So you can see on the left side of your screen, some big selling, but you can see how we've kind of been bottoming out here. And let's take one more look here at some of the price activity. You can see that this is a stock that rallied up and has gone sideways since after topping out around 62. Look, mm -hmm. I've got where we are relative to the 50, the 200 day moving average average there you can see again kind of parked right on the 50 sort of in the middle of this range that we've seen but yeah this is a stock that did really well initially up to 58 mm -hmm. that run up we saw in the beginning of this year and then it's kind of come off since but uh, still holding its own I guess right around that 50 and kind of in the middle of the range that we've established here. It's still up more than 120 percent year to date yeah. as well so oh, we'll find out yeah, yeah we'll, 25. we'll yeah, find out 220 percent off our lows here yeah. price is king Ben. For, well, I guess so. <laughs>